I'm Hewan Hook, and this is The Real Review. So the wine I'm tasting today is Catlin GB's Rosé 2019, which comes from the Adelaide Hills. So this wine is uh, Daryl Catlin's wine. Daryl is a winemaker who's been working in the Adelaide Hills for quite a long time. He is the winemaker at Sidewood Estate, which is at Woodside. And before that, he was at Shaw and Smith for about 10 years. So he's got quite a history in the hills, but he's only been doing the Catlin thing, his own brand for a few years now, started in 2013. And he produces wine from grapes that are grown by other people in the Adelaide Hills, in the Clare Valley and McLaren Vale. This is from the Adelaide Hills and it's made from Montepulciano, which is probably not the first grape you think of when you think of rosé, but why not? Uh, they certainly make pink wine from it in Italy. Uh, it comes from the Abruzzo, which is on the, um, the eastern side of the League of Italy. That's its native country, but Montepulciano is pretty widely grown. It normally makes a full body dry red wine, but it can be a light bodied wine, an early drinking fresh wine, and it can be a rosé. And this one is um, very much a, an idiosyncratic style of rosé, which I really like. Daryl Catlin um, grew up in the Barossa Valley. His parents had a vineyard there. Um, he is a highly experienced guy who makes terrific wine, I think. Um, and uh, we still don't know who GB is. I read the I read the website back to front. He says, "Look, you have to drink this wine young before GB gets to drink the whole lot." But we don't know who GB is. It's a bit of a mystery, but it doesn't matter. Well, the first thing you notice is the colour. It's quite a. It's not a pale colour. Not a Provence colour. It's it's a deeper colour. And it's got a bit of tawny in the tint, so it's starting to develop a bit, starting to show a little bit of age. It's only a bit over a year old, 18 months old, but you can see it's got some development to it. So it's not one of these brilliant purple style wines that you see a lot of. Um, I suspect part of that is because that it's been barrel fermented, and barrel fermented introduces a bit of oxygen into the wine, and that tends to speed up the aging of the colour a little bit. Let's have a taste. complex is the first word that comes to mind there it's not about simple primary fruit this is about complexity so there is strawberry there is cherry there there's all sorts of summer berries there a touch of strawberry liqueur um, but there's spices and there's nuttiness and there's mellowed characters there's a bit of charcuterie there all sorts of interesting aromas but not certainly not a simple primary fruit wine. It's, it's more interesting. Than that. It's a wine that keeps you in, in, entertained for longer when you sniff it. Hmm. And again, very much a, a wine rather than a party wine. It's a serious wine. Um, it's complex and it's got layers to it. Um, there's some really interesting flavours buried in there. The more you taste it, the more you notice. It's dry, uh, which is, means it's a good food wine, but it's very rich and fleshy. The texture is terrific. It's got a lot of lengths to it. Um, a really, really smart wine. I can drink quite a lot of that, not a problem. Well, we scored at 95, which is a very high score for a rosé. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's rare that we get rosés that get a gold medal score, and that certainly did. Um, I would think two years would be enough for this wine. They're usually best drunk reasonably young. Um, rosés tend to age quite quickly, and it's the freshness. You do want some freshness in the wine, even though this is not a primary fruit wine. It's a more complex wine. Uh, we do, I think, want to keep want to drink it while it's got as, as much freshness as it has today. So what sort of food would we serve with this? And we did ask the winemaker, Daryl Catlin, what he would put with it. And he said, Peking duck with pancakes. Um, he also said foie gras. So if you happen to have 
a bit of money in your pocket and you can get your hands on some foie gras, I'm sure that would be wonderful. But Peking duck with pancakes, is, uh, it sounds fantastic to me. I, I think that's a great idea. 20 bucks, that's a really good value on it. Cheers.